Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, it is simply a uh, review slash first impressions of this gorgeous journal that's by the brand Inside Then Out. I will leave the link to their website down below. I did purchase this journal with my own money and so the link below is not an affiliate link, it's just where I went to purchase this journal if you are all interested. What I love about the company is that it is a young female entrepreneur who has made this. I first learned about this journal, journal via YouTube because a fellow journaler slash fountain pen like um, YouTuber was doing a review and a giveaway and so that's how I purchased mine. The concept is amazing. So this is just the box that it gets shipped in. Um, so this is her, also her Instagram handle, which I'll try to leave down below. And so the concept behind the journal is that it's a self-prompted 365 day, um, a question a day, and it's dated. And it says, so the journey begins. And then this was on here um, when I opened up my journal. So it was uh, shrink wrapped as well in there. So with that being said, it's the beginning of March. And so yes, the January and February prompts, I will go slowly back and fill them in but I got it in March the beginning of March so I'll be able to start answering the prompts that are indicated by the date up top so you can buy this at any time during the year it will be completed after you know a year of asking um, and answering questions and the concept that she had said was that you can't really do a lot of self-development without working on your inside thoughts and your mindset and so this journal is broken down and it says in the front, so it's a better everyday journal, a 365 Q&A journal designed for you to become your best self by Naya Jones. Put your name in there and the year that you did it. And then it's actually broken up into different kind of um, sub components of our personality and our character. So Jane, the first quarter, you're working on self-awareness then understanding your past in April, love, relationships, self-care, happiness, habits, passion, personal growth, and then your goals. And then it goes into self-awareness. So simply put, and I'll go through some of the uh, prompts that you can see. So what is your mission was January 1st. Imagine a movie about your life, who would play you and what would the movie be about. Um, what are some things you think that are that you are bad at? I'm just jumping around. <laughs> what is something unkind you have done or said to someone? Have you apologized? Are you, do you have patience for dot, 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 dot? <laughs> Are you easily tempted by, you know, question mark? Are you kind and how? And then there are some quotes still. This one's a quote by Maya Angelou on the bottom. So I just thought that the prompts were gorgeous and really um, thinking. Like these are not like just short answer questions. Like you can elaborate for a whole page. Um, do you work well with others? Who has disappointed you the most? How did they, did they disappoint you? Um, has time moved fast or slow for you? What is something you have sacrificed for, for someone you love? Um, what kind of people do you attract? So, like I said, for me, when the person was flipping through some of the prompts that she had, you know, stumbled upon when she was flipping through it briefly, I just loved. So for that reason is why I purchased it. Um, how do you prioritize self-care? What is the last time you meditated? How do you ease your stress? Let's jump into September. <laughs> Let's see. Um, do you keep your room clean? How do you spend your free time? And get into a section on passion. Do you ha do you have a job right now? If so, do you enjoy it? And so, don't get me wrong. I in the beginning of the year, you remembered I said I wanted to create a better um, journaling habit for myself, and I will say that I have succeeded. Um, but my current journal in that Archer and Olive has been kind of like um, events in my life. So, for instance, too, like Valentina just started school. And so I've been writing about that or when she's been sick and I haven't really done any prompts in that journal. So that's why I purchased this one in order to kind of think about my character, think about my um, mindset and where I am right now because I am also turning the big 4-0 this year. So I just felt like for 2021, this would be a nice kind of volume slash chapter of my life that I will complete. And 
have it as like I said my 40th year on this earth <laughs> and the measure for this just in case you were curious is an eight and a half by six um, so that's and it is kind of like a pleather bound it has a squared 90 degree edges it does come with a ribbon bookmark the pages are a bright white and if I'm familiar as well the paper did take um, obviously gel pans rather good the girl I watched it from did use her fountain pens in it and it was fountain pen friendly um, paper with some ghosting in the back so if you're not liking that it's not like fountain pen exclusive but the paper is in my opinion what I always like is white because sometimes a lot of journals come in that ivory or cream color so I'm excited to get to this so like I said it's the beginning of March I am going to complete March as we go through and then slowly go through and answer the questions for January and February that way it is a completed year um, so I'm excited so I'll leave all the information down below I hope you've enjoyed this and check her out if you are at all interested